Alicia Enrique Roja, and we'll take our first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with Inside Press. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Um, so, Alexander, th this fight was obviously rescheduled from December. Can you tell us what kept you from the fight about two months ago? Yes, uh, it's happening um, in November. I take COVID and uh, still out the gym like uh, three weeks. And uh, when I back to training, I'm feeling real bad. And uh, question UFC can remark the fight. And uh, that's it. Uh, I have more time for I have more time for recover, and uh, now I'm feeling one hundred percent. And let's go to show. We know COVID affects people differently. Everybody, um, how long would you say you were feeling the symptoms and not feeling well? Yes. Uh, first, I think it's, it's overtrained, but uh, after like a three days, feel the same. I uh, feel like a fever and uh, I make the test and see and uh, I still two weeks real bad and uh, one day I'm feeling better and then another day I'm feeling bad again and uh, I don't feel a taste and a smell and uh, and uh, two weeks before the first symptoms uh, I still test positive and more couple of days, I'm test negative and can come back to, to the gym. But my first train, I'm feel like a, uh, I'm feeling real bad. Don't can train, finish my train, and I need like a two two weeks to to complete my recover, like a six weeks bad weeks. Um, I guess, how did it help you to have the extra time to prepare with the strategy? Because obviously you now get more time to study him and prepare for the fight. Yes, um, uh, I don't watch a, a lot to my opponent. I'm focusing my game, you know. I know he's a striker, he's uh, uh, young, he uh, has a lot of uh, power in your hands. But that's it, you know, I don't, don't need to see all the fights. Uh, I just focus in my game. I have a good game. I can strike it with uh, with everyone in my 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 division. I can make the grappling. Uh, I never uh, I never finish. Uh, I never suffer a finish. And uh, you know I'm focusing my game. Hey, thank you, Alexander, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll now take some questions from Gavin Porter with UFC.com. Uh, hey, man. So I just wanted to ask you, you know, you're always in very exciting fights. It seems like all your fights are you fight at night or really fast paced. What about your style brings that type of fight out of other fights? Um, I, I just put everything in the cage, you know. Um, I'm starting to fight to when I have like uh, 16 years. And those are 14 years I'm fighting. My my first pro fighter MMA, I have 17. You know, it's a long time, long journey. Um, a lot of people don't know, but uh, I have like uh, 20 wins in Muay Thai. I never lost in Muay Thai fights. You know, um, I'm lived to fight, you know, all my, all my life. And uh, I like to make a great show, uh, prove myself every fight. And that's it, you know. Um. Thanks, and I wanted to ask you, what years you fought the champion? You fought the Houston before. What do you think of the the Moreno and David fight? Uh, definitely, I, I I looked at this fight. I'm watching the fight Moreno in the, in Daiko and Davidson, and uh, you know, Davidson have so so much power in your hands and uh, a lot of skills. I like Brando, he's a good guy, but definitely it's not the same level to Daiko. Uh, I think he, Davidson makes mistakes, make his mistakes to put this fight too close, like a, two weeks before he fight again, and he's a heavy, heavy flyweight, you know, he needs to cut a lot of weight. And I think in next fight, next fight, Moreno and Daiko, um, uh, Davidson 
it's not going to make chance for, for Ben to think it's draw or he'll won. And then I wanted to ask you, you know, you, you have the opportunity to deal with a, a big performance, a big win here to kind of reassert yourself back into that, that title picture um, next in line, maybe to fight either Brandon or, or Daiko. So do you, do you think a big finish over here, over Menel, get you to the, into that picture again? Yeah, maybe, you know, I uh, have some, so many good guys in flyweight division now. Um, I, I really like to, to see that. Uh, you have Manel from Ryzen. You have a lot of other guys. I'm watching all the guys. Um, so really excited. And uh, who know? You know, I'm I'm ready for the. If you have a good performance in Saturday, I hope so. I'm super ready. I'm calm. I'm feel relaxed. Um, I like to fight in Vegas. And uh, who know? But uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight the title. If you if you if you UFC think I need one more fight. Don't, don't uh, you know, whatever UFC, UFC want, I'm ready to make my show. And my last question is, you know, he's a newcomer into the UFC, and obviously he had, he had great success over at Ryzen, and now he's coming here. Um, do you, when someone's new and coming to the UFC for the first time, do you think they experience that different talent from one promotion to the UFC? Man, UFC is the first division for, for the MMA, you know. I, I think Manel is super excited to, to make his, his debut. And uh, I'm happy to fight with him, you know, the first fight. I'm fighting with a former champion for Ryzen's a big show in Japan. And uh, I'm excited for this, you know, prove myself, show it to, to UFC. Uh, I'm deserved my, my, my position. And uh, I'm going to show. Thank you, guys. Finish. No, we have one more for you from okay. Jim Corsolo. You have been unmuted, Jim. Was oh, thank you. I was curious how the training camp went for you. Um, where did you do your training camp, and how long was camp? Yeah, I started to uh, November, uh, October. October, I'm back to America, and uh, started my training. Uh, America top team is. First gym in the world, you know, uh, a lot of years is, is the, the champion for the, the gym in the world. You have the best coaches in the game, a lot of good partners, and uh, I feel super ready. It's a good camp, good coach, good partners. And who did you bring with you, or who are you bringing with you of your training team? for this fight. Did they limit you guys or no, you could bring, you know, you could bring three, four, five, or as many as you want for your team. I know with COVID, there's a lot of safety restrictions. Just how were, were there any limits for that? And who is coming with you? Every time you're going to see in my corner, my, my coach Pahumpa is my head coach, Pahupinha. He's the best coach in the game. And my coach, strike coach, uh, Macahão. Um, definitely I'm super comfortable with these guys. And uh, that's it. And then lastly for me, because you mentioned American Top Team, and there are just so many great fighters and great coaches there and in South Florida. What's it been like coming to South Florida, being uh, from Brazil, and having – there are many Brazilians training there as well, and South Florida is a international area as well. Um, I know you're busy with fighting and training, but how is that – climate and transition of being in South Florida? Man, first time I'm walking in Florida, uh, I'm feeling like a Rio de Janeiro, you know, it's the same weather. I'm love uh, living the, close to the ocean. It's my new house now. You know, you have, and, and you see you have a lot of Brazilians in the gym, but you have a lot of Russians, you have Japanese guys, you have, have guys from all the world. The, it's a nice uh, small world you have in the gym, you know, uh, a lot of cultures. You have guys spray all the time, you know, uh, and that's it, you know. I love living in Florida. I want to bring my family to, to, to live in there, put my kids in the schools, grow in the, the America. This is my legacy, you know. Well, we would enjoy having you down here for that, too. And thank you so much. All the best on the fight. Thank you.
That's all we have for you today, Alexandre.